Lucille Ball is a huge part of television because she's so timeless. Lucille Desiree Ball was born in Jamestown, New York on August 6, 1911. As a young girl, Ball wanted to be an entertainer and later attended drama school. Lucille Ball went to New York as a teenager to go to the Minton Anderson Dramatic School. She was so quiet and shy that the head of the school told her mother she was wasting her money. At 16, Ball became a model, and by 1933, she permanently moved to Hollywood. While working on the film Dance Girl Dance, Ball met Cuban band leader Desi Arnaz, and they eloped later that year. Lucy met Desi through Ann Miller. They went to the commissary for lunch one day and they were sitting across from a table where Desi and some of the other actors were sitting and Lucy couldn't take her eyes off of him and said, oh, boy, would I like to meet him. And yes, it was love at first sight. As a result of a rocky marriage, Ball filed for divorce in 1944. The couple later reconciled, and by 1950, Ball and Arnez formed Desilu Productions to launch their vaudeville act. They went out on the road to prove to CBS executives that the public could accept an American girl married to a Cuban. And they succeeded admirably on the road as well as on television. On October 15, 1951, I Love Lucy made its television debut on CBS. The show pioneered multi-camera shooting, a live studio audience, and featured Lucille Ball, the first woman in television to be head of a production company. I Love Lucy was not only a groundbreaking program in terms of ratings and audiences, but also in terms of having Lucille Ball be the first pregnant woman to appear on television. The night that they aired Little Ricky being born, more people tuned in to watch that than tuned in to watch the inauguration of Dwight Eisenhower become president. After winning five Emmys during its six seasons, I Love Lucy ended in 1957, but Desilu continued to produce more television hits. During its heyday, Desilu Studio was extremely powerful. Not only were they producing I Love Lucy and there was a diamond in their crown, but they also began producing other real classics of early television, like Armis Brooks with Eve Arden, The Untouchables. Well into the 60s, they brought to air shows like Mission Impossible and Star Trek. Ball and Arnez divorced in 1960, and Ball took over Desilu, becoming the first female studio head. That same year, she starred on Broadway while continuing to work in television and film. After I Love Lucy, she never again played a married woman. In her next show, she was a single mom, and ultimately she was a career woman. We think of Lucy as this wacky character and everything, but she did reflect a lot of women's lives, and that might be part of why she had such on-air longevity. Lucille Ball died on April 26, 1989, from a ruptured aorta. The legendary actress was posthumously awarded the Presidential Medal of Freedom and voted the greatest star of all time by TV Guide. Lucille Ball is an incredible part of television history. Although I Love Lucy stretched the limits of our imaginations at times when she'd fall in a starch vat and come out with her hair on the... It was still believable and it really paved the way for practically every other sitcom that's been on the air since.